alive. Jesus is alive. Forever is alive. Amen. Great is the Lord. And greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holy land, beautiful for situation, the God by Zion, sight of the north and city of a great king. Is Mount Zion, sight of the north and city of a great king. We bless you, Jehovah. Thank you, Thank you. We appreciate you for who you are. Amen. Yes. Glorify yourselves. Amen. Glorify your name. Let Amen. your word, O oh God, have a base, a change in our life this hour in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sow this word into our heart and let it grow. And germinate and bear more fruits, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit Divine. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's look at our scriptures in Genesis chapter 37. Remain standing. Genesis chapter 37. I want to read from verse number 5. I will stop at verse number 11. And I read, And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. 6. And he said unto them, Here, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheep in the feed, and lo, my she arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheep stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheep. Verse number 8, And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us, or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dream and for his word. Verse number 9, And he dreamed yet another dream, and told his, his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this, the dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? Verse number 11, everybody let's take it. And his brethren envied him, but his father observed his shame. May God bless this reading and this word into our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Take your seat, but don't take it home. This hour, I want to speak on what I titled, Observe Your Dream. Everybody say, observe your dream. Observe your dream. Take that again. Observe your dream. It has become worrisome and becomes a burden. And day in and day out, I hear people call me, send me text messages. Daddy, please. Papa, please. What is the meaning of this dream? I had a dream, and these are my dreams. I don't know how to go about it. And so many people out there are beginning to be concerned about their dreams, but they do not know how to deal with these situations. And by the grace of God, 
in the next couples of weeks or months, I am going to take my time to begin to explore this dream, the interpretations, and the solution by the grace of God. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a child of God and you do not dream, or you dream and you always forget about your dream, it means something is wrong with your spirit life. If you don't dream or you dream, you cannot remember your dream. It means something is wrong with your spirit life. And by the grace of God, I like us to understand some misery about life. Because a lot of people have plunged themselves into problem, knowing even God revealing it to them about what becomes of them. But because they do not show concern or do observe their dreams, that thing always comes to play out. Like I told us last week how a man, God showed him. In other words, if you are very, very close to God, God will always visit you in your dream. And he will reveal so many things about your life to you. The details of your life, of the present, of the future, and of the past. In other words, when your life is very, very close to God, if you are the type who is very, very close to God, God will begin to do or reveal the details of the plans and the strategy of your enemies to you, thereby giving you measures to know how to go about, how to fight, and how to escape from the hands of your enemy. But if you are not close to him, if you are not that observant, there is no way, even when God comes to you in a dream, the devil, when he begins to deal with you, first of all, he will make sure you don't remember your dreams. And once you begin to see yourself not remembering the dream you had last night, so even if God shows you that something terrible was going to happen to you and you do not remember, then you are short coming your lifespan. And that was the case of that man. He had a dream and they were conducting service of songs for the wife. But because he never took it very seriously or serious and all of that. He ignored it. And within a very short time, the wife died. Until when they were conducting the service of songs. Now he started shouting, oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. He saw the atmosphere where the choir were singing, the types and the kinds of songs they were singing for the wife, how they roll out the coffee, the casket and all of that. All these things he saw in his dream, but he ignored it. So today, by the grace of God, I like us to begin to learn to observe. When God comes to you in a dream, Try to fathom the meaning of this dream. Don't just ignore it. And that was the case of Joseph. As a little boy, he had a dream. The first time he went to his brethren, to his brothers, and told his brother, this is my dream. And the Bible says, because he told his brethren his dream, they hated him. They did what? 
they hated him. Now, don't share your dreams with the wrong people. Only share your testimony. Don't share your dream. Like, there was a time in my life, you know, I had a dream and I was beginning to wonder how would this dream come to play? What was the dream? I saw myself inside the plane. As at that time, I don't even have a bicycle. But I was like, this dream cannot come from the devil. This must be God's plan concerning my life. And from that time onward, I started beginning to bring that dream to come to pass. Having observing what God has showed me in the spiritual. Now, I have to bet it now to the real life. I tell you this, a lot of people, there was this lady, she works in one of these banks, in one of these banks, big bank, and something happened. For almost nine years, she was supposed to be promoted to a higher rank, but nothing was happening. Each time she dreamed, she would always see herself in the village. You know, playing with all these little girls, going to the river, the streams, and all of that. At times, she would dream, she would see herself writing primary six examination. At the end of it all, she would still fail. And she never, she never, she never see it to be anything. But she was working in one of the banks, and most of her junior staffs, they were promoting them and making some bank managers and all of that. Until she had an encounter with grace, with Christ. And from that time onward, when she narrated her dream, I took her hand in agreement and I prayed. Believe you me, two weeks after that prayer, her life changed. Amen. That yoke was destroyed. Amen. You need to understand and observe your dreams. If God says you are going to be great, you need to walk towards that greatness. If devil are pushing people to bring you down in your greatness, if you observe your dream very, very well, all you need to do is to do what? To begin to disassociate yourself from such people so that you'll be able to do what? Achieve the dream of God concerning your life. We all have a dream. Our dream is to be great. Our dream is to do well in life. But if you do not observe, now look at this. Don't you know, find out, anytime you are believing God for something, Anytime you are praying that God should do something new for you, that is when the spirit wife, the spirit husband, they will come to you and make love to you and sleep with you in your dream. Some of you call it ordinary dream. It's not ordinary dream because at the end of the day, you will see some specimen, some sperm around your body. That tells you it is not just ordinary. And when you're beginning to encounter such a dream, when you are expecting something big from God, that thing will never come to play. <laughs> as soon as that dream comes, that thing you are believing God for will never materialize. Except when you observe that dream, that this is not normal, then you need to stand to do what? To fight and kick against it, to rebel against it. And not until you do that, you continue to see yourself in a cycle, in a cycle of defeat, in a cycle of what? Of failure. 
Lastly, let me also let you know, for those of you who watches pornographic in the phone, I have said it before. Let me say it again. Each time you use your phone, especially if you look at the content you see these days that pull so much followers and views, somebody will have to naked, somebody, you, you know, you, 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 you see uh, 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 how it started, somebody is pranking somebody about cheating on his husband or cheating on his wife, and that thing draws your attention and you want to watch it. I don't have a problem with that. Those who are doing it are doing it to make their money. But very many of them are also entangling their life in the kind of spirit that will come after them. And you who is watching it, there are things you don't know about some of these things. Because when you use your phone to watch pornography, automatically you have written a love letter to the spirit wife and to the spirit husband. And before you know what is happening, they will begin, you begin to see yourself making love or making love to you. Either you are making love to them and, or they are making love to you. And that is the reason why you must learn to observe your dream, your dream life. Because the spiritual controls the physical. The battle you cannot win in the dream. In the real life, you will be defeated in anything you are believing God for. So I think the time has really come. Let me begin to teach you some of this dream, how they entangle your destiny, how they entangle your life. Don't just look down on some of these dreams. Joseph had this dream, and the father was not a good interpreter. Otherwise, look at it. The first time he had a dream, he went to his brethren, his brothers, and told them and said, this is my dream. And those ones said, are you not saying we are going to, from today, beginning to bow before you? He only told them his dream. And the Bible said, from where he said that, they hated him. In verse number 9 of Genesis 37, the Bible said he had another dream. And this time, he did not go to his brethren first. He went to his father. And the Bible said the father rebuked him. He went to his brethren. And the father says, are you not saying myself, your mom, your brothers are going to bow before you? He only told them his dream. But thank God, that was the same Joseph who could not interpret his dream at the early stage of his life. But when he was so close to God, the Bible said when Pharaoh had a dream and he needed somebody to interpret, the same Joseph who could not interpret his dream was the one who interpreted the dream of Pharaoh that got him promoted and landed him in the house of Potiphar. Hallelujah. You have a dream. Martin Luther King once said, I have a dream that one day the black man will rule America. Did it come to pass or not? It come to pass. Every one of us sitting under the sound of my voice, you all have a dream. But learn to observe your dream. Find out. Don't just joke with it. If you are a child of God, you dream you don't remember. Be concerned about it. Be worrying about it. Try to know, I had a dream last night. What was the dream all about? Try to investigate. If you were short in your dream, it means something terrible might happen to you in the real life. And that is why you have to be very, very careful. The kind of things, the kind of thing, like these horror things and all of that. You cannot come out watching horror films and you are not being pursued by masquerade or by, by, by spirits. You need to learn to begin this thing. Phones are good. 
But what people are now using phones for these days has begun to plug many into problem, into captivity. I pray God liberate each and every one of us in the house today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Learn to pray for the interpretation of your dream. Anytime you dream, if you cannot interpret it, go to a genuine man of God. Go explain to him. Go explain to her. Daddy, I had a dream last night. And this was the dream. I had a dream, but I can't remember. Uh -huh. That cause for a serious concern. You need to be delivered. So that next time you have a, you have a dream, you should know every details about that dream. What happens in that dream? There are so many of you here who are still swimming in the river and you seem not to do anything about it. There are so many of you here who are still writing examination, primary six examination, in your dream. That is spirit of demotion. That is what? Spirit, spirit of, of what? Demotion. demotion. Some of you will climb tree. You climb to the top of the tree, all of a sudden, you fall down. That is demotion. You don't worry about it. You're just like, oh, I climbed yesterday night. I climbed a tree. All of a sudden, I fell down. I just woke up. Oh. Uh, and you never take anything serious. You never sit to be, to, to, to be serious or whatever to deal with it. Find that. Observe. Anytime you encounter any evil dream like that, it is a setback. It is what? Setback. It is what? Setback. It is what? Setback. It is setback. God just showed you, because you are so close to him, God will always come to you in a dream. My son, my daughter, he will come up, open himself to you. Then you just like wake up and say, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. How do I deal with this thing? How do I go about this thing? And God will just give you the way out. Stop living a life of carelessness. It will not take you anywhere. You are what you are today as a result of the dream you did not remember yesterday. You are what you are today as a result of the dream God showed you that you never countered. The devil has come to feed many of you in the dream. And you seem not to see it as anything. I just ate in the dream. And it doesn't matter now. Ah, you, you need to check out the meat. Full chicken was given to me, sir. There are night caterers. There are what? Night caterers. Somebody who cannot poison you physically. He can come through the dream to feed you and poison you and impart sickness into your body. Lastly, some of you say there are no witches and wizards abroad. <laughs> Please, anybody who tells you that, tell that person is lying. As a matter of fact, witches and wizards, they are high in numbers in abroad. Now, tell me what a cowrie will be doing in the mouth of a white lady, a white woman, Kauri. You don't know what's called Kauri? Ikpiro, our money of those early age. A woman dreamt, and she said, Apostle, I had a dream, and she told me the dream. And I, I, she said, that is where I could, I forgot the rest. I said, no. You can't forget, try to remember. I said, no, 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 I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember. I said, okay, I give you some time. You sleep again and just pray God, bring back the dream so that you'll be able to know exactly how the dream ends and what have you. And said, no, does it make any sense? On the long run, what happened? After some time, she woke up, she had a dream, that cowrie, she found it inside her mouth. Inside her what? Her mouth, cowrie. And when she opened her eyes, brought it out, it was cowrie.
You need to deal ruthlessly. Somebody from here, war skin, snake skin, clothes, wore it to the church. You know what's called this skin now? All this uh, skin material of a uh, serpent. How can somebody just go to the market? You see serpent skin. You buy it. You like it. You love it. You buy it. You wear it. What, are you, what kind of dream are you expecting to dream? She started seeing serpent. She started seeing snakes around her. And she woke up to me and said, Daddy, these days, each time I just, before I close my eyes, I see snakes around me and all of that. I said, why would you have snakes around you? Do you know this material you are wearing? She looked at it. I said, this is snake skin material. What are you doing with this? I said, go and set it on fire. But before then, you have to pray to deal with it seriously and set it up. Don't give it out to anybody. And that's why I always tell you, the clothes I reject from my children, I don't allow them to pass it to somebody else. Set it on fire. You deal with that. If you throw it away, the devil in it can still come out from it and enter another person. But when you pray and set it on fire, you have destroyed the foundation of that problem. Look at some of the rings some of you wear. You just go to the market, buy a ring and put it in your hand, and before you know what is happening, the enemy will just kill, come, the witches and wizards will just come, the marine powers and spirit will just come and carry you fear. Find out why your life is not progressing. Try to investigate what is happening to you. Lastly, I ran up with this. I was here. I think that was two years ago. A woman came with a husband. She called me and she said she needed to see me. I granted her that opportunity. She came. And the husband said, each time I dream, I always see somebody coming to carry baby from my wife's womb. I, I said, how do you mean? He said, if I, see, I will just dream. Before I know what is happening, somebody will just come, cover her hair with black cloth and remove baby from the, mother, from the wife's womb. I said, I said, for how long have you been experiencing this dream. He said, I have dreamed this dream now for almost four, five times. I said, what did you do? He said, I don't do anything now. Ah. I said, okay, now why are you here? The wife now turned to him and said, you had such a dream. You did not tell, you never told me. He was not like, ah, I don't tell you to now. The wife said, I don't remember. So the man was like, ah. So, so place, so, so place, this is when I told you. Oh, the woman has said, it's true. Oh, you are aware. Uh, she now said, uh, she did. he told me. When he told you, what did you do? She said nothing. Now, why are you not here now? Childless. It is not that God did not give her. But she did not observe when the enemy came to remove the baby from her womb. Many of you have been blessed with money. Instead of you to use those money to sponsor the things of God, you prefer to begin to sponsor idolatry. Something will arise from your family. You, you tell them I'm a Christian, but you you dole out the money and say, make one take, go and use this money. Any amount, let me know. <laughs> now listen to this. Those money, if you have, 
use it to enrich the things of God. God would have also in return uplift and upgrade your life. The motto of Elijah, how powerful anointed the staff, that motto of Elijah. You know the staff? Huh? The one Elijah was carrying. That thing was so powerful. That thing was so anointed. Even Elijah wanted to carry it along. And God says, no. You don't need this one to heaven. It fell from his hand. He did what? He fell from, from his hand. hand. There is no amount of wealth you will possess today in life that you are going to carry to heaven. Never. You are going to do what? Leave, Leave everything. everything here. Stand to your feet.